Hello everyone. Come on, submit in React.js. Let's start. Here I am to type first name and last name and click submit. It will print here. Let's start. Here I created a React project and also I am running this project. I am going to create a form and inside the form I am going to create an input. Also, I am going to duplicate this for one more time. Here I am going to create a name, give a name, it's F name, and here name is L name, I mean last, last name, and here placeholder first name, and this is last last name. And I'm on, I'm going to create a button button for a submit. Yeah, here I'm going to create on submit. And also I'm going to pass a event here. Handle submit, and I'm going to pass event. I'm going to copy this handle submit function, and I'm going to create a arrow function here const sorry here I'm going to get the event here and also first I console the value e dot target dot I'm going to display the f name so target dot f name dot to display a value and also I'm going to duplicate this for one more time. This is I'm going to print a last name real name. Okay, save this and go to browser and right click and inspect. I'm going to create uh, add a big break here. I'm going to co copy this break. Paste it here also. Yeah, I get a form like this. And yeah, go to console here. I'm going to type A, -A and here B submit. Yeah, value is printed but browser is refreshed so after that e dot prevent default prevent default yeah, save this and I refresh this page here I'm going to type something and click submit yeah I get a value here I'm going to display the on submit value in the h3 tag so that I'm going to create a console here for a first name, first name and last name state. Okay, first and set first. Okay, you state and initially empty and this is last and here is last. Okay, I'm going to copy this and after that I'm going to pass the e dot target dot f name here and I'm going to duplicate this for one more time this is for last yeah this is l name okay okay after the form I'm going to create a h3 tag and here pass this and this is last save this and go to browser and a -A -A. here it's something and if I click submit values printed here and after submit I'm going to reset the input field so I'm going to copy this copy this and I'm going to assign an empty string for this and this is last save this and yeah refresh this page if I submit something say, I mean type something and if I click submit means here input values I mean input field is empty. Yeah, this is what I tutorial in this video. Bye bye.